Slob defense, exchange, symmetrical line. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the queen's pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. The d5 pawn is supported by c6 in the slob defense. The battle for the e4 square is launched by nc3 by attacking the d5 position. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is a fair deal after all captures. Recaptures. Bf4 develops the bishop to an active diagonal where it controls the center. The pawn on d4 is attacked, the knight moves toward the center, and the e5 square is under the control of nc6. Nf3 develops a knight to control the center. Bf5 develops the bishop to an active diagonal and maintains symmetry. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. This moves the queen to safety. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. It is quite good. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. It is the final book action. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. A knight is pinned as a result, which limits its movement. It is ideal. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. One of the best moves. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players.